What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. And today, I just want to come in and I want to just talk to you about something that was on my mind about this Jelani Day case. Now, he's been missing since late, late August, right? Okay. There's, fit, there's footage of him walking towards Beyond Hello dispensary, right? Okay. There's a picture of him inside of the dispensary, Okay. But there's no pictures. I haven't seen any pictures of Jelani leaving the dispensary. I haven't seen any pictures of him getting in his car. Like, where are the CCTV images? Okay, where are those images? We need to see that. Okay, so when I went to Google Earth, I typed in Beyond Hello in Bloomington, Illinois, right? And this is what came up. So I guess Google Earth is a little bit behind. They, they, they did not update. But if you could see the shape of this business, Slim Chickens, I think Slim Chickens is not there anymore, okay? Because if you could see the whole, the, the way it's shaped, it is shaped like Beyond Hello. And I think Beyond Hello is more of an updated store, more of a newer store. But be, I cannot find... Um, beyond hello on google earth because they still have this business there but look at the parking lot okay so let me get you a picture of um beyond hello okay so this is what beyond hello looks like now so that used to be slim chickens as you can see is no longer slim chickens this is a newer store it is a cannabis a cannabis um, the spicinary. So they have to have cameras all around this place. So what I want to know is where did Jelani go after he left? Are there any footage that's going to be coming out? Okay, is there going to be any footage coming out um, so that we can see him leave and get into his car? Did he meet up with someone there? Okay, I just have a lot of questions that needs to be answered because something is just not right about this. And that they found his car, they found his car in a wooded area. It's just something wrong. Something is just not right. And, you know, I feel bad for his parents and his family because, you know, Jelani is everybody. He's somebody's brother. He could be your cousin, your nephew, grandson. He could be anybody in your family. So I understand how they feel, you know. But I just don't understand, like, how did he get from there how did his car get from there to it being found a day later in a wooded area 60 miles away near peru in the south county okay now there was a body that was found in the illinois river in early of september but the authorities have not said who it is and the mother doesn't think that it's him okay but they they need to release who that body is because somebody could be missing their loved one you know it's, it's just really crazy it's just really crazy it's just been on my mind a lot you know it's just been on my mind a lot and you're still not hearing it everywhere you know um why it still needs to be talked about you're not hearing this everywhere but where did he go after beyond hello that's what i want to know where did he go after Beyond How Long? So please help this family. If anyone knows anything, if anyone that, that works at Beyond Hello and seen him leave, please get that information to the, his parents or, um, or, or the detectives or whoever's working on this case. Now, I'm in another article. So they said Jelani... Um, Below Hello is where Jelani was last seen, right? Jelani left Below Hello, Beyond Hello, and went south, said Carmen. I'm finding that their businesses, which were around Veterans Parkway, mm -hmm, the cameras are either not good at all, or you can't see anything. The cameras are pointing towards shrubbery, pro protecting their vending machines, or they use or whatever they are used as a um deterrent and they don't work at all. So that business, the mother is saying that their cameras are not good at all. Um 
you can't see much of anything. The cameras are basically pointed towards shrubbery, um, protecting their vending machines, or um, they are used as a deterrent and don't work at all. Because a lot of business does that. They'll have a camera out there and they use it so if someone tries to do anything, they will think twice because they see a camera there. And sometimes the cameras don't even be working. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, when I did look on Google Earth, that there was a FedEx um, business right like next door. But I'm not sure if that camera was, was, is pointed towards the Beyond Hello dispensary. But he left and he went south. Um, and after that, you know, they're just trying to piece everything together. Hmm. And she said, to give us some type of idea, did Jelani stop? Did he see somebody? Did someone stop him? Was he with someone at any time? Someone had to have seen something with all the technology we have in the world now. That is true. That street should have nothing but CCTVs on there. It should have CCTVs on, on that whole strip. Okay, we in a day and age of cameras. It just amazes me. I don't know if the people or the businesses are being lazy and telling me they don't have anything. Some of the businesses that have allowed us to see the cameras, the pictures are not very clear or they have pointed them at their vending machines. It doesn't cover the street. You would think you would have a camera cover the street so you could see who's coming in your business. Okay, who's going out of your business um, parking lot. You would think that it would be there, you know, so you can see at least one camera facing the street at all times so you can get a good look at who's coming in and who's leaving out. Half of them don't cover the parking lot. That's crazy, which is terrible because if a patron out there got assaulted or something, happen that business wouldn't be able to help hmm now about like i said a body was found in the illinois river the same day but authorities say that the remains are considered a separate case at this point and not have been identified so if that's a separate case that means it's probably not jelani and we will hope that it's not him but if they're doing a separate case nine times out of ten that is not him but we still need to find this young man. His car was in a wooded area. Okay. <sighs> mm -mm -mm. Um, Jelani's last day known outfit was a Jimi Hendrix t-shirt. That shirt was found in his vehicle when his vehicle was found. Along with his blue Detroit Lions hat that he had on. We're finding things and the private investigator is working with Bloomington police. We're trying to find out right now what Jelani did after leaving. And that's the big mystery. That's the big mystery. What did he do? Where did he go after he left Beyond Hello? He was at Beyond Hello on Tuesday morning, August 24th. And that's the last day he was seen. And that the last day any of us spoke to him was that Monday evening after... 9.20 on that Tuesday morning was the last time we had any activity from his phone. His phone didn't die. The charger was in his car. I don't know where his phone where his phone is. We are trying to find the phone as well. Mm, he did not have a roommate. And at this time, I'm not aware of any girlfriend. And that's coming from the mom. So, the biggest question is... When Jelani left Beyond Hello, okay, we know that business, their cameras is shot. It's not very helpful. When he left that business, he went south, and the mother said that. South where? You can't, I mean, we don't have pictures to see where he went south that, but why isn't there any, like, CCTVs out there on the roads? It should be cameras on the road. We live in a day and age of technology where you should be able to see things, okay? These businesses that has cameras outside their places, they got to stop using those things as decoys. Plug them in. They have camera for a reason. 
plug those cameras in. Get them to work so you can see what's going on around your business. And she and for, the, for it to not to only really cover the parking lot, she said if somebody got assaulted in the parking lot, they wouldn't be able to see nothing. And that's sad. So what's bothering me is where did Jelani go? Did he meet up with somebody? Did he get a phone call? They still don't they still haven't located his phone yet. Um they had the car, his t shirt was in the car and the hat. Like, what is going on? And they really need to step on this case and give everything, everything they can because I need to know what's going on here. Don't drag your feet. This just you know, Jelani is is just like everybody else. He deserves to be looked for. He deserves to be spoken up for. I don't know. But what do you guys think? Is this something like really like wicked that you think around the dispensary that you just don't under like you can't shake? And uh, two other people was was talking in my comment section about the dispensary as well. See, I can't call it ask because I don't have the uh the you know the authority to do so. But somebody had to have seen something. Somebody coming to your business. To purchase or to meet somebody and you don't see nothing come on now come on now but anyway you guys that's all i have for tonight um let me know in the comment section what do you think about all of this i would love to hear your theories what do you think happened with the jelani case where do you think he went does anyone out there that knew him did they did he say where he was going you know help his family find their family members their loved ones okay oh my goodness Whew. Mm -mm -mm. it's just it's just too much at times it just gets it just gets to me at times but um i just hope that me putting this out there that somebody is listening you know and please share this video share daniel robinson video and there's a young girl in brooklyn that lives in crown heights her name is imani samuel kennedy please share her video as well people just don't disappear out of nowhere and i'll leave you with that and i'll talk to you guys later